Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, I'd love a big old thumbs up. So today I want to share how I'm going to revamp my laundry room. I don't know about you, but I spend a ton of time in my laundry room. And I keep looking at it and it's just boring. And you know what? It needs a little sparkle and a little pizzazz too. So I wanted to take you along and show you how I revamp my laundry room. And if you've already been following me, you know everything I do is on a budget. And so I will show you tips and tricks on how to decorate not only your laundry room, but other spaces too, because you can use these, you know, in any, in any space in your home, these tips. So I'm gonna get behind the camera and show you how it looks now. And then I'll take you along in the process. So come along. Join me. Okay, here's what it looks like. Our uh, laundry room is, it comes off of our kitchen. So, and then the door that you're looking straight at now goes into our garage. Now, about a week ago, I painted it this color because, you know, trying to figure out what I was going to do in here. And you can see all the paint samples that I am uh, got a hold of here. And um, there's been some scratches on the door, but that's okay. The door goes out to the garage, and our family is constantly coming in and out of this door. So there was constantly dark black hands on the white door, and I, it was driving me insane because I felt like I was cleaning it all the time, and it just wasn't uh, working. So I thought, you know what? A darker color may help that. So um, I'll touch up those spots. But I'm going to tell you right now, even though it's got a few scratches down below the handle, it still looks better than those dark handprints constantly. So as you walk in, um, we've got this. And it's just, it's just ugly. Um, and then we've got the kitty box. Um, there's a crate that my mom puts her dogs in when she comes to visit, and then we'll turn around. And we got this old ugly wash tub, which I took fabric and I hot glued and march podged the fabric to it to make it look a little better, and then I painted the legs. So, oh, then it's dirty. I, need, I know I need to clean it in there. Um, I painted this faucet with, it was all rusty looking with, let me spin your, I'm sorry for making you dizzy, with this guys, and um, it looked a lot better than it did, it was all rusty and ugly, and so um, I wanted to show you ways that I save, I will paint pretty much anything, as you'll see uh, throughout my videos, if you stay in my home long enough, I might paint you, that's just how it is. So when I look for paint, now none, I'm not sponsored by any of this. Just putting it out there, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. This is all things that I bought with my own money. So I always look for Oops Paint like this, you know. Now these guys right here, all of these, were at a garage sale. And they were all full. And they were all paint samples. There's nothing wrong with them. And the lady only wanted 10 cents for them. And that was also these and, th and this. And, um, I mean, t what can you buy for 10 cents anymore? I was shocked. I said, honey, I'll take them all. Um, these I get from, I believe it was Lowe's or Home Depot when they have their sample sale for 99 cents. And, guys, these little things go a long way. I mean, and I also, I mix my paints. If, if I... I'm trying to find a color, I'll mix them up. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything, and it's just fun. But another way is, like, this gallon was a $50 gallon of paint. Now, I just, I'm not paying that. That's not my budget. I got it for $9, and I, I think I got paint on the thing. But it was an oops paint. And so, you know, I grab it up. When it's in my budget and I'm in Lowe's, I grab up any type of oops paint I can find. Now this, I got made to match one of these guys, I can't even tell, one of these. Um, so I paid um, 
full price for this one. I believe it's 20 something dollars, but it's a color that I will use throughout my home. It's a neutral color and I'm gonna use it on the walls, I believe. Yes, I have tons of paint samples. So, um, let me turn around and show you. It's just a big old mess. So, and these buckets, I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you, I got these. They are $3. I found at TJ Maxx um, a long time ago. I used them at my daughter's last birthday party. And so we're not using them. And so I'm going to use, that's what, another tip. I always shop my home, try to reconfigure a way to use them. And so then you've got uh, this shelf. It's become a catch-all. It was in my daughter's room. We took it out. And I just have been piling you know, stuff in here and it's just become a catch-all. So I'm going to remove that and probably put it in the garage and just put something else here. So here is, let me go back, go back, go back, back. Here is the before. All right, you guys seen that? And I will show you during and after. Sugar. Did you get into the cat food? Did you get into the cat food? Um, what happened here? Look, your food's over there. Why did you, sugar? Did you get into the cat food? Hmm? Did you? Did you? Look, you just got a pretty haircut today, and why do you want to get into the cat food? Alright guys, so that's why I got to clean up. Let, let me know in the comments below, does your dogs get into the cat food and make a mess like a toddler? Um, look, over here is her food, all nice and neat. And then there's the cat food that got moved from the laundry room, which this is how she gets a hold of it. Okay, I'm going to turn around and let you see where I'm at right now. Okay, this is where I'm at. I know what y'all are thinking. Okay, it looks like a dark hole, I know, but I have a vision. you got to trust me on this. The door is obviously going to be painted a different color than what it is right now. And then... You'll see how I decorate it. I have a vision. You just gotta trust me on this. So it's late. Uh, this is where I'm ending right now. I'm gonna go clean up Sugar's mess. And I will catch you guys probably tomorrow with the finished room. So. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Hi, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day today. I wanted to show you my finished product. So I'm going to get behind the camera and show you how it looks. Okay. Now, remember, we're coming off of our kitchen. So here's the bottom. Okay. And we're going up to the top. Okay, this table, if you watched my video on Trash to Treasure, it was a roadside find that I uh, painted and then I put like a gray glaze on it. The basket is from a yard sale or Goodwill. This I got from Ross for $10.99. Okay, yes, I still need to clean the dirty sink. I just didn't feel like it. The antique wash tub I painted to match the door, and it was from a flea market that my father-in-law had given me, so I don't know if it's antique, but I just have, thought it was cute and has character. This paint or picture, it had a Kirkland sticker on the back of it, but I got it from a garage sale for $3. And then, here we go, the rugs I got from Ross. They were a set. Um, they were in the bathroom section, but I liked them. 
So I put one, the little one where my kitty cats eat, and then the big one right here when you walk in from the garage to catch some, hopefully, dirt and debris. Um, they were $9.99 and they were stapled together. Okay. Yes, I left the kitty box here because I don't want it anywhere else in the house. So as you come up, you got my brooms and stuff like that. Then you've got those baskets. I found those at Ross. Uh, the two smaller ones were $7.99 a piece and the two big ones were $8.99 a piece. And then that was a piece of canvas that I wrapped and stapled and it was um, leftover fabric from this. And if you also watch my Trash to Treasure video, you'll notice that I also use this fabric on some roadside find bar stools. And then there's the door. And these, the washing machine and dryer actually was a hand-me-down for my mom and dad because they wanted to get a new set. We've had it for a while and it's, these are okay. I'm not gonna complain because they were given to us, so I'm very grateful. Okay, I'm gonna step back. So the table, I thought, I cannot stand when my husband comes in and puts his wallet and keys on the counter. So he can put his keys right there and his wallet right there and then he can find them. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspires you to put some color in any area of your room. It doesn't matter if it's laundry, your pantry, whatever. Just brighten it up because it's your home. You're there every day. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next, or should I say, until my next project, <laughs> or next DIY, or haul, or whatever, I will see you again, guys. Thank you so much, and have a blessed day.